If you want to support me even further, use code rest assured in the Epic Game Store and follow me on all my socials. Thank you. All right, what's going on, guys? It's Res. In this video, like I said, I'm going to be going over a Aegir Scepter build. As I mentioned in my last video, I was going to make a whole build around this. And if you want to go watch that previous video, I will link it down in the description. It's based all around freezing every single enemy with your melee ability. And you're just going to have infinite melee abilities on top of that. But with this build, we're going to dive deeper into the Aegir Scepter and really, really focus on this gun and building around it. So if you don't know what this gun does, whenever you get a kill with it, it's going to spawn on this dust field esque zone that will slow enemies and eventually freeze them a free super super fast and this is going to work with all your stasis fragments and it's a gun that really works hand in hand with your subclass which is really really fun and on top of that if you get stasis kills with this weapon it actually will refill the ammo as well and the catalyst if you don't know you can make it so you can overcharge the gun where the beam will actually slow and freeze enemies and it's also going to do 80 percent more damage but since the ability that you get is super strong, you're going to drain your super down. And that is what this build is all around trying to fix to keep that super energy up at all times and do an insane amount of damage with this one weapon. But before I jump into every little mod and build, I'm just going to just talk about the weapons. Obviously, a Scepter is going to be equipped with the catalyst at all times. You can run any special weapon first and last out's good. Uh, the Adept Azumi is also good, but Ascendancy is also going to be a great option because we're going to be able to proc explosive light literally at all times with the mods we're going to be running. Plus, this is the highest damage rocket in the game right now. But jumping right up here into the Shape Binder subclass, the aspects I'm going to be running are Frost Pulse and Glacial Harvest. Frost Pulse is going to make it so you rip and freeze enemies, and then Glacial Harvest is going to make it so whenever you freeze enemies, you get the Stasis Shards. Then down on Fragments, I'm going to run Whisper of Fissures, so you increase the damage of size of the Burst of Stasis whenever you destroy a Stasis Crystal or defeat a Frozen Target. This is going to be really, really good for the add clear of this build. I'm going to run Whisper of Refraction, so whenever you defeat a Slow to Frozen Target, we get Class Ability Energy, which is going to be really good for this. Obviously, Frost Pulse is going to also let us freeze enemies. Then Whisper of Bond, so whenever we defeat a Frozen Target, we gain super energy really really good we're going to be able to have our super up at all times which is nice so we can proc the eager septus catalyst and then whisper of conduction so nearby station stars track to your position so getting over to the mods i just want to mention really briefly that i'm running 100 recovery and 100 intellect obviously we're really trying to get our super much as possible and we're going to have a rift up as much as possible on everything that we're running so we can keep freezing targets with our gun and our rip we're just kind of huge aoe freezes from everything so starting off up here our first mod we're going to run is elemental shards if you don't know this mod is extremely strong so stasis shards now kind of stasis elemental wells so now not only is our gun going to be creating these stasis shards our rift is also creating them and they're going to track to you so we get the benefit of the stasis shards themselves on top of them also becoming elemental wells for us then i'm going to be running well of potency so whenever you pick up a elemental well that matches your subclass type you gain super energy so the stasis shards that you're picking up is actually going to be granting you super energy now which is really really good to keep super up and get it back at all times then i have elemental charge right here so we become charged light whenever we picked up an elemental well you gain two stacks of charge light whenever you pick up a well that matches your subclass so since again the stasis shards are considered elemental wells we're now also going to be procking charger light by picking those up on top of the well of potency then i'm also going to be running font of might picking up an elemental well that matches your subclass energy type grants a temporary bonus to weapon damage of that same element type so now when we're picking up stasis elemental wells we're getting our stasis weapon damage buff which obviously is agar scepter and we're going to be doing even more damage with that and since again we're picking up elemental wells at all times with the shards you're going to be able to keep this up literally 24 7 and then finally i have high energy fire so while charge with light you gain a bonus to weapon damage each defeated combatant consumes one stack of charge with light now high energy fire and font might actually do stack together so you're going to be getting an insane damage bonus with your a scepter especially once you get your super finally and you get that 80 percent damage bonus from the catalyst on top of everything else over here and you have all your super energy regeneration trying to keep your ego scepter up now speaking of super energy regeneration if you couldn't tell already i'm gonna be running mantle of battle harmony so takedowns with the weapon that have a damage type matching your subclass element grant super energy and that also has the other benefit while your super energy is full you instead get a temporary bonus to the weapon damage that's matching your subclass element type but that part isn't that good because obviously once we get our super we're going to be trying to proc the catalyst but even if we don't you will still get that benefit of extra damage which is nice so between mantle battle harmony well of potency 100 intellect we're going to be trying to get the super back as much as possible and keeping it up which will be very very easy to do and since our elemental shards are count as wells we're getting charged light because of that 
We're getting an insane weapon damage bonus for Phantom Light and high energy fire. And overall, you're going to be able to just to add clear like crazy, which is absolutely insane. Now, other little secondary mods I'm running to help with the bill are things like two utility kickstarts. So whenever you use our class ability, you will essentially just get some class ability energy back, which is really, really cool. Then I also have installation on, so reduce class ability cooldown when you pick up an orb of power. They're going to be orbs of power everywhere since your Aegis Scepter does have the catalyst you are going to get even more rift cooldown to freeze more enemies then also have things like a trace rifle reserve and i just threw on a concussive dampener but trace rifle reserves obviously is good since we're mainly going to be using our trace rifle then for our arms i have one extra point left so you can run a champion mod if you want to take this into in-game content which is really nice you'll just have to run a primary weapon in your special slot which is totally fine then i just have a trace rifle ammo finder so i can hopefully get more Aegis Scepter ammo to keep killing things over and over. But yeah, that is pretty much the build. Overall, you're just going to be trying to kill everything with the Aegis Scepter. You're proccing your Mantle of Battle Harmony. You're proccing literally every single one of your mods because you're just picking that Elemental Shard up. You get an insane damage bonus. You get insane super energy from your fragments and your exotics. The ad clear of this build is just insanely strong and even once you get to bossing since you're going to be able to constantly keep high energy fire up 24 7 on top of having explosive light your ascendancy is just going to be able to nuke bosses which is really really good as well but that is pretty much it for the simple build if you really want to focus on running a your scepter and just act clearing i definitely could see this being super super strong and in-game content at least having one person run it especially when the new raid comes out in witch queen and you need somebody to just act like crazy you're gonna want one of these guys on your team because it is just insanely strong it is one of the most broken exotics in the game in my opinion now due to the fact it just being able to just freeze an entire room and really really play well with your stasis subclass itself which is already super strong and it's not even like it hurts your single target dps that much because like i said you can still run things like ascendancy and be able to just nuke bosses as well but i definitely would try this out and i really did hope you guys enjoyed this and if you did consider doing all the normal youtube stuff subscribe and drop and like it really helps me out and our community grow by getting these videos out there for everyone to see i truly appreciate it but thank you all so much for watching and i will see you in the next one peace